Southern Asia Down Under, a special program for Youth Week. Inspired by the circus, the brother and sister who juggle. Capturing moments of happiness, but shot months before the big day. And the fast-paced doctor, who's a highly passionate activist. <laughs> Kia ora and welcome to Asia Down Under. The theme for Youth Week is step up, be heard and speak out. And today on Asia Down Under, we're doing just that. With not just a bunch of stories about youth, but we've also got a handful of talented, young, aspiring reporters who've been sharpening their journalistic skills with us. So meet each of the reporters, Corazon Miller, Natalie Chang, Father Sen, Iko Fan and Victoria Young. We start with Corazon Miller's story. So Corazon, what's your story about? My story is about a young doctor that I met who's um, proven herself to be quite a passionate advocate for social justice and she's working hard towards eliminating global poverty. Did you enjoy the experience of doing the story? Um, yeah, it was a, certainly a challenge, but it was definitely fun and well worth the while. Fantastic, let's take a look. Dr Divya Dare, last year's Young New Zealander of the Year, is always on the go training for a half marathon, caring for the sick at Middlemore Hospital, and fighting to end the global poverty epidemic. Off come the running shoes as she gets ready to dash to her next destination. The next stop is her nationwide high school speaking tour, where in one week she will speak to 10,000 students in 24 schools across New Zealand. Hey, we're going to give a talk at Epsom Girls Grammar Year 13 Assembly on basically that we can end extreme poverty within our generation and that every young person can be the change they want to see in the world. A mammoth dream requiring a lot of dedication, yet this campaign is done in Divya's spare time. Awesome, let's put our hands together. Do you want to join in? Yes! <laughs> her passionate activism began in her childhood days in India. In 1981, one in two people on this planet lived in extreme poverty. My passion stems from the fact that I was born um, in India and I saw poverty all around me and that really made me question I guess my place in the world and place of others and trying to make equality occur. As a student she was already an active campaigner for social justice. In 2010 this legacy of youth activism was rewarded when Divya won Young New Zealander of the Year. That is remarkable achievement for our humanity. And true to her spirit of justice, she founded the P3 Foundation. P3 stands for Peace, Prosperity and Progress. Basically, we're an organisation by young New Zealanders wanting to inspire other young New Zealanders in our effort to eradicate extreme poverty. Our vision is to eradicate extreme poverty in the Asia-Pacific region within our lifetime. We have the resources to end extreme poverty once and for all. And for some very young New Zealanders, her message has really hit home. Um, one of the strong ones that was coming out was that, you know, you can make a change no matter how old you are, no matter where you are. And um, I really like the quote, quote that she used from Gandhi that, that was like, um, be the change that you want to see in the world. The biggest message, um, I think, is, again, how easy it is to get rid of poverty and how how we all need to step up and we need to act and we need to actually do something instead of sitting there and saying it's somebody else's problem. Um, I think the biggest one for me was that indifference is really dangerous and you know if it wasn't for indifference we could have solved poverty maybe a long time ago. And action is exactly what Divya and the P3 Foundation encourage. So we've come up with ideas that we think would be interesting to us and our peers and usually so far they work. So we've done campaigns like Pay Fair Trade Forward, which was really exciting because it was asking people to go into cafes closest to them. But instead of buying coffee for themselves, that was fair trade gifted to the person behind them. There's speed dating for a cause. So we ran something called Get Your Mate a Date. The idea being nominate your mate to go speed dating just before Valentine's Day. And the Jandal, P3's 3D petition, where people pledge their commitment to curing poverty. Even world leaders have taken on the Jandal. Closer to home, fellow social justice advocate, scientist Ray Avery, also supports Divya's work. She's a little tiny dynamo because she, uh, she's doing a full-time job at Auckland Hospital. I remember uh, she was at uh, some award ceremonies the other day 
uh, and she was there in a wonderful dress, a cocktail dress, and she looked fantastic. And she was having a very animated discussion with a, another philanthropist, and uh, she was uh, giving her view on the world. And then, and then she looked at her watch and said, look, I've got to go to work. <laughs> Back to her full-time job as a second-year doctor at Middlemore Hospital, where alongside more experienced peers, she puts into practice knowledge gained through her medical degree. Outside of the hospital, Ray is using Divya's tenacity to teach her how to turn her dreams into reality. Like most young people, they um, are um, you know, a blank canvas, and I felt that if I invested in her in terms of all the experiences that I've had in development work, that she would um, benefit from that. And that we, we've had some very uh, strong, animated discussions about uh, what directions in career, in, in career paths she should take. She's a driven woman. I think it's very rare today to find a young woman with that kind of resolve. And as a doctor, you get to hear people's story to a much more intimate level. And through that, I got to, I guess, experience humanity at a different level to perhaps some of my colleagues. And I think really that's where it comes from. And when her nationwide tour finished, it's that same resolve which is propelling Divya back into reality as young doctor, social entrepreneur and marathon runner.